We are at Turkey Nose Community College Red Mountain Building in the main gallery. Yeah. And tell us about your work and about who you are. Sure. Um, hi, I'm Rosica Todorova. Most people know me as Rossi. And I am an artist who lives in Phoenix. Uh, but I'm originally from here. Uh, I grew up in Reno, Nevada. I immigrated from Bulgaria in the early 90s and came here and grew up, did elementary school, middle school, high school here, and got my bachelor's in fine art and painting and drawing from UNR. Uh, and um, worked here in the community for a long time and went to Arizona, um, Arizona State University for my master's degree. And feel really lucky to be invited back to show in this beautiful gallery and to showcase my new work. So this is a brand new work from 2000 and uh, some, some drawings from 2016, <laughs> but otherwise 2017 and 18. So just brand new work. So you're saying the inspiration for a lot of this geometric work mm -hmm. comes from a family tragedy? Yeah, so my father passed away in August uh, and has really informed my work. So I work with a lot of geometry. Uh, I think about ideas of time and being in between, like spaces in between, including travel, how we get from place to place, uh, how that time passes while we're um, in motion, commuting in the car. Uh, and with my father's death, it kind of takes a whole nother uh, level. Mm -hmm. The title of the show is Distance is Measured in Time. And usually I'm thinking about um, how long it's gonna take me to get from Phoenix to Reno if I'm driving, or how long uh, it took me to take that pl plane ride back to Bulgaria. But here, uh, distance is measured in time means something else. It's really about how long and how, what it takes to deal with loss and how um, it takes that time to deal with loss. Let's take a look at some of the pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so the uh, show is both sculptural as well as video work and the sculptural pieces are made out of wood. They are really simple geometry and they're dealing with simple kinds of line. And what I'm trying to do is kind of distill my vocabulary and, and um, strip it down to its essentials. Mm -hmm. And so with a piece like this, um, it's really about the negative space. Uh, these are two triangles and really they want to be a pyramid, but they're missing one, one side. You know, so similarly to when somebody's not there, when somebody's um, kind of lost, you feel their loss. And the way that the um, pieces feel on the wall, or I think they feel is that they're really being connected like only by three little points and either they're going to fall apart or they're gonna fly away, but they just feel very fragile. And I'm looking at that fragility, um, the way that they're casting shadows is also important to me. It's really like that the shadow of that person or that part that's missing is completing the piece uh, or the thing that's there is completing the piece but only through its shadow. Mm -hmm. So e in either direction it becomes a metaphor of what's I see that there. with all of these works except for the video works. Yes. How the shadow is so part of it and as yeah. you move there is motion. And, and emotion. And then with the video pieces as well, with each one of these pieces, I come from a drawing background. Um, my background is drawing. My master's uh, degree is actually in drawing specifically. And even though I'm working sculpturally or in video, to me, these are gestures. So they are um, like a fleeting moment. And each one is a fleeting moment, which is what I think a gesture is. And drawing can usually capture that. You uh, capture the essence of something. And here I'm really trying to maybe even remember or, or think about or meditate on the fact that this, this tragedy just happened, this thing just happened, and I'm trying to find a new way, a new connection, a new path um, for myself. For example, this sculpture, which is really created from three perfect squares um, that are being connected in all new ways. And this re repetition of threes is coming in the work, uh, really taking place of my mom, my sister, and I, uh, and thinking of new ways that we're connecting. But really, this idea of a negative space is always within the work. There's, always, there's something missing. Like, this, this could be a simple cube, but instead, it's triangles that are slowly being connected. And 
it really feels like we need to find new ways to support each other. Mm -hmm. And so each of these little pieces of, of wood are trying to find a new connection point as well. So let's take a look at the big piece sure. in the room. So this is a, a piece that's about feeling out of control, about the world rolling away from you, your path rolling away from you. And the video is, you know, maybe even vertigo inducing um, through this sense of motion, uh, filmed in the car while driving, manipulated. And I was really looking for like a never ending path that you kind of can't get off of. Um, and the sculpture in the middle is a cube. And that cube for me is representing a, um, a single identity or a single individual. Uh, and being held together through structure, through society, through its, um, the things that you know. Like, you know, the, the geometry is a representation of things that we know about ourselves. And that's what's keeping it together. But in reality, that cube uh, in this presentation is empty. Uh, the world, you can kind of see through it. Um, and what I wanted to do with this piece is kind of create these three parallels that I often feel like we're in the middle of or I'm in the middle of, which is the, uh, the world, the space that we occupy, our interaction with that world, and then ourselves. And sometimes they feel like three different layers uh, that occupy the same space. Sometimes they're connected and they touch each other and sometimes they're integrated. And at this moment in time, they feel like, for me it feels like the space that I'm uh, traveling in or, or moving through, which is represented by the video, the shadow, which is me within that space, and then this cube kind of are sitting on different parallels. And uh, even though you can see them at the same time, you kind of can't concentrate on all of them at the same time. So really thinking about that separation within the same space. So the show is here for how long? Uh, it's up until March 14th, so please come by and see it. And the gallery is open Monday through Friday, um, 9 until 7. And if people are interested in seeing more of your work, tell us your website. Sure, yeah, please uh, visit rosizza.net, and it's spelled R-O-S-S-I-T-Z-A dot net, and you can see a whole body of work. Uh, I'll put a link in the work. article. Thank you. Thank you.